Merry Christmas, everybody. I am Nate Eaton with EastIdahoNews.com, and Secret Santa is back this year. Last year, he gave away $500,000 to people in need. This year, he's giving away more a lot more and that's why we're starting earlier we're starting in november we are out distributing gifts to people in need across our community today we are in firth and i want to tell you about the raleigh family robert and phoenix robert is legally blind in one eye and totally blind in the other this is a special elderly couple with mounting medical bills that keep them from doing minor repairs on their home. They're barely getting by by paying the bills with every penny that is budgeted. Phoenix is also in very poor health, but she does what she can to take, to take care of Robert, who is amazing at what he can accomplish being blind. These guys raise turkeys to butcher for the neighbors and they sell farm fresh eggs for a little extra income. This is a couple who truly deserves a surprise visit from Secret Santa. And that's what we are about to do. We have some gift cards for them from Secret Santa, $1,000 to the grocery store, $1,000 so that they can go get themselves some clothes, and $1,000 to the gas station so that they can get their car back and forth to appointments. Secret Santa also has a $5,000 check for them. Of course, they have no idea that we're coming, but let's go surprise them. Hello. Hello. How are you? Are you Mr. Rowley? Yeah, who are you? I'm Nate with East Idaho News. How's your day going? Oh, I'm going okay. Yeah, what are you up to? Oh, not too much. What are you up to? Well, we're actually here on behalf of a secret Santa. Uh-huh. He asked us to come and bring you a gift. Oh, really? I know it's early. Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving isn't even here, but we're, we're trying to get these gifts to you as soon as we can. Is oh. your wife home by chance? Yeah. Phoenix? Such a beautiful day. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing. <laughs> we're with East Idaho News. Yeah. You probably wonder why we're here in Santa hats and in yeah. November. Well, we've come to bring you a gift, a Christmas gift, a, an early Christmas gift. Somebody told the Secret Santa about you both and asked us if we could bring this to you. So uh, I'm going to give it to you. We'd love to see you open it and not wait until Christmas. What is it? I can't see. Well, I'm sure she'll tell you. Yeah, that should just pop off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> um, they are $500 gift cards from Rollins. Oh. From Maverick. What's this? It's a gift card. $500 at any Maverick, Maverick, any Maverick gas station. And another one. So there's a thousand to Maverick. Coles. Really? Five. Who has done this? It's what? a secret. <laughs> so there's there's a thousand to Coles, a thousand to Maverick, and a thousand to Brolems. We heard that you needed a new suit or wanted a new suit. Oh. So that that Coles <laughs> card can hopefully get you that new suit. Coles card. Yeah, Kohl's is just a department store in Idaho Falls. Uh-huh. Wow. Oh my gosh. We wanted to wish you the best of Christmases. We have one more gift for you, too. <laughs> Do you need to sit down? Yeah, I need my walker. Do you want to come in, or? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. Here is a certified cashier's check from Chase for five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. Wow. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, and whoever the secret Santa is, <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> we can't tell you. I know wow. You can't. But oh you can gosh. give a message to him. He might be watching now. Well, uh, bless it's a heat. <laughs> <laughs> I pray the Lord will bless him for his kindness oh, and for you Lord. guys coming and delivering it. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. It's oh, thank you. 
Our prayers have been answered. We hope you can put that to good use. I know you will. Oh my gosh. Thank, so, thank you. We're, thank you. We're glad you didn't pass out. <laughs> go, 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 no. ca go catch your breath. Yeah. We'll give you a hug through the air here. And, okay. and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Okay. Merry thank Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Take Appreciate care. it. We'll see you. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. As you can tell, I'm next to an SUV that we're about to give to somebody from Secret Santa. The license plate says, Secret Santa loves me. And he definitely loves this next recipient. Her name is Darcy, and she teaches here at Temple View Elementary School in Idaho Falls. Darcy has three children. She's a single mother. Her oldest child has Down syndrome and went through some pretty serious health issues last year. And on top of all of that, Darcy's car broke down, so she hasn't had a reliable vehicle for several years. Well, that's about to change today because this is for her. And we also have a $3,000 check in here. One of her wishes for the longest time has been to have a front porch that she can sit on and watch her children pay, play. And Secret Santa wants to pay for that porch. So there's $3,000 in here, plus $1,000 she can use to register the car, get a tank of gas, get everything good to go. Right now she's in a staff meeting, and in about five minutes the principal's going to send all of the faculty and staff outside to say they need to do a little bit of an exercise. That's when Darcy's going to get her new car. Is this everybody? Yes. This is all the teachers? Are you the principal? What did you tell them to get them out here? Um, that we are doing a activity outside. We just did a minute to win it inside and now we're going to do an activity outside. Okay, well this is kind of like a minute to win it because I have a gift here for one of you that I've been asked to drop off. So we're going to play a game. I'm going to I'm going to spell out the person's first name but I'm going to scramble it. So I'm going to say a letter and if this letter is in your name step forward. Make sense? Yeah. All right, we'll start with R. Step forward if an R is in your first name. Okay, an A. Okay, a C. Is there only one left? What the hell is <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what's your name? Darcy. Darcy, you're the one we need. <laughs> So, um, how long have you taught here, Darcy? This is my ninth year. Ninth year, and what do you like about your job? Oh my gosh, it's magic! I'm gonna cry! <laughs> I'm also, um, everything. Everything? Oh my, <laughs> my students, my family. Oh, that's great. This is making... You can cry. So... I was just excited that you were naive. There's, <laughs> There's nothing exciting about that. What, uh, you're also a mom. I am a mom. How many kids? I have three. And how old are they? Oh, um, 16, 14, and 12. Okay, the teenage years. Yes. So you're working here full time, being a mom full time, doing the best you can. Yes. Well, Secret Santa asked us to bring you this gift. I know we're early, it's not even Thanksgiving, <laughs> but we had to get here as soon as we could. So um, you can go ahead and open that. So, I'm so it's a three thousand dollar check, and then I have I have another thousand dollars from Secret Santa. I forgot to put it in there, and I have one more thing. It's right there. It's right there. Do you want to go see your new car? Oh my god!
<laughs> this is yours. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. Oh my gosh. And it has the new car smell and everything. Merry Christmas! Oh my God! Oh my gosh! Thank you! Thank! Oh my! Oh my gosh! And how do you find out who Secret Santa people are? To just say thank you. He might you. be watching. You can talk to him right there. Oh my gosh! Thank you. I'm so blessed. Anyway, I just am so blessed and so lucky. And oh my gosh, this is so. Oh my gosh. Merry Christmas. I don't know, can you see the frame? Oh my gosh. How it says you? Secret Santa loves me. Oh my gosh. Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just like we're so cute for coffee. <laughs> well, now I'm even cuter, I hope. I know. <laughs> oh my god. All right, take you on a ride around the parking lot. Merry Christmas, everybody. We are in Rigby tonight. It's very dark. We have been trying for days to get a hold of a really special teacher, and we think she is home. Her name is Dawn. Let me read you a little bit about her. She's a recently divorced teacher of six children, five of whom still live at home. She's supporting these children on a teacher's salary while working at Rigby Virtual Academy. Her specialty is math. She's a math coach for Rigby Virtual Academy and Rigby Middle School. She switched to becoming an online teacher this year so she could have a little more flexible schedule to care for her children. She's a loving, caring mother and is barely making ends meet with her salary and putting food on the table. She is so humble, so kind, and she would not ever think of asking for help from anyone. She's always going the extra mile to help students with their work so they can succeed. Math can be overwhelming and she takes time to explain each problem in detail so students can understand the concept. She has had so many hardships, but it keeps putting on a happy face for those of us around her. She's been recognized at board meetings for her outstanding work and at the homecoming parade this year she brought all of her children and they helped with the school float. They stayed long after the parade to take it apart and clean up and ensure all of the items were put away. Dawn does not wear fancy clothes, shoes, and her children do not. They're making ends meet with a smile on their face and love in their home. Secret Santa wants to give them a grocery store shopping spree. We have $2,000 to Brolem's. We also have $3,000 for her from Secret Santa to Kohl's so they can get a new wardrobe, some new outfits, whatever they need. Again, I hope she's home tonight because she hasn't been for the past two times that we've come. Let's go surprise her. Hello, Hello how are you? I'm good. Good, is your mom here? I think so. Tell her we have a gift for her. Hello, are you Don? Yes, I am. I'm sorry to um, interrupt your evening. Okay, can you look around my camera? Hi, I'm actually meeting with my students on that camera. Oh, okay. I was well, trying to tell everybody. Um, we're with East Idaho News. We yeah. came to bring you an early Christmas present oh, from a secret Santa. Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> can the class watch? They, they can. can you bring my camera? It's usually there. They can't. No, just a second. <laughs> no worries. Just a second. Um, they, they can. There's only like three students. This is a club. Yeah. It's a club that I coach. You are very hard to reach. We have come twice <laughs> and you're never home. No. So no. so you teach you teach math and you coach math or how does yeah, that work? Yeah, I coach. I'm um, my fifth year. Um, just just let me. Um, you're fine. You can do what you want to do. <laughs> I can I can say this has never happened to us, so this is cool. I like this. I mean, <laughs> so when do you have time for yourself? What? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Yeah, I work a lot. Um, 
and you're raising your kids yeah and yeah. you're keeping your house up and doing Trying everything to. else in these crazy covid times yes. well we'll let you get back okay, to your anyways. club why don't we have you open that okay. if you don't mind okay Merry early Christmas. Thank you so much. So that's that's a, a couple thousand dollars to Brolem, so you yeah. can do some grocery shopping. And we have one more thing for you as well. Oh Just, um... Okay. Thank you so much. This is so you can go on a shopping spree for you, for your kids. Uh, each of those is $500, so... You can get some clothes, you can get some groceries, you can uh, do what you need to do for Christmas this year. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thanks for letting us interrupt your class. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's just fine. We'll let you get back to it and we wish you the best Christmas ever. Thank you. All right. Take care. Thank you. Thanks for getting your mom. <laughs> ha have fun shopping. Maybe do a math problem with all those gift cards. <laughs> I'm coaching <laughs> because two other teachers were coaching in our school and, and they left and he says, Mom, I have to do math counts. Who's going to coach? And I was like, I guess I will. Oh, good for you. So, do you get paid for that? No, do it for fun. Do it for fun. <laughs> do it for free and do it for fun. Well, there, I, there's a little payment from a secret Santa to, to thank you for all you're doing for the community. Merry Christmas, everybody. Nate Eaton here with East Idaho News. Yes, it is early. We know Thanksgiving isn't even here yet, but we are starting early this year with our Secret Santa giveaways. And we're in Rexburg today, where the wind is blowing because it always blows here. We're about to surprise the Boyles with $10,000. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Mary and Andy Boyle are truly good people. They have adopted a couple of great kids with very special needs. Their 14-year-old has the mental capability of a 6-year-old. Andy has had many surgeries, including hip replacements and knee replacements, and he is on disability. They love animals, they would do anything for animals, and they need a fence. A fence that is in better shape so that their children can go outside and play and they can enjoy their yard. So we're here. Secret Santa said go give them $10,000. Of course, it's going to be very unexpected because it's November. And Christmas is weeks away, but we're going to get their holiday season started off right. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Are you Andy? Yeah. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. How's your day going? Pretty good. Good. What are you up to? Uh, not so much right now. <laughs> Probably wonder why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Dressed in Santa hats. Well, we're here because a secret Santa found out about you. Someone told him about uh, you guys and your beautiful daughter, right? You have a young daughter? Yeah. And how's she doing? She's doing good. Well, uh, we wanted to bring you an, an early Christmas gift. We're really early, I know, but we, we, <laughs> we wanted to come out. And is your wife home by chance? or? Uh, she is. She's on the call right now. Oh, OK. But... Well, could we give you this Christmas gift? Sure. We won't make you wait two months. That's too long to wait. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Thank you. You guys have some needs that you could use that for? Definitely. Yeah. We heard you might need a fence or something. Um, well, we're working on it right now. Um, yeah, that's one thing that we need to <laughs> work, that we're working on. But well, hopefully that can help. You don't have to use okay. it for the fence. You can use it for whatever you need. Okay. All right. Thank you. Merry Christmas. You guys have a good day. You too. Take care. Yeah.
Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton in Idaho Falls today. We're about to surprise a really deserving family with something the father really critically needs. Let me tell you a little bit about Carrie. For 28 years, he was the manager, the head mechanic at Big O Tires, and he worked to support his little family up until about four years ago. That's when he ended up with blood clots in his right leg, and by the time the doctors figured it out, it was too late and they had to amputate below his knee. As a result, Carrie could no longer work, and due to the stump of his leg shrinking, he needs a new one to help him get around and not have so much discomfort. He remains on disability only. The family is trying to make their monthly bills and keep food on the table with a roof over their head, so they really don't have any extra money to buy this leg after all of the insurance costs are figured into it. Carrie deserves a new leg to make him more comfortable and mobile, but it's just too expensive. Secret Santa said, you've got to get Carrie a new leg. So we did some research. We have a check that we're going to give them for a new leg. But not only that, in the course of our research, we found out that Carrie has done so much for so many. In fact, just recently, he could have taken some of his money and put it toward their house payment. Instead, he gave it to another family in need. They only have $11,000 left to pay on their house. Secret Santa is paying it off. They will no longer have a mortgage after today. Let's go surprise him. Hello. Come on in, Adam. Oh, how are you? I'm good. How are you, folks? How are you, sir? Hi. How's your day going? Good. Christmas came early for you. Oh. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm Nate, by the way. I won't shake your hand, but I'll extend my mic. I've, I've seen you. You worked at Big O Tires, right? That is correct. Yeah. How many years were you there? Oh, at least 25. And have you retired since then? Yes, it's uh, by uh, had a blood clot and lost my leg. I really have not been able to do anything, and it's uh, just you know, kind of hard on us. Man, you lost your leg from the blood clot. Yeah. So do you have a, a what a, an artificial leg? Yeah, I have a, a prosthetic arm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is adjusting to that? It, it's okay, but I mean, some days are good, some days are bad. Yeah. I mean, you, you put it on, you go, you walk, you just try to do what you can. Yeah. And I, I just do little things around the house and help some friends out. And, but other I, than that, I've not been doing anything. <laughs> uh, we heard that you, some one of your friends or somebody needed a trailer to live in. They uh, basically needed a place to stay because they were up here in the house just up the street and they ended up selling the house. So that person actually that was living there had to move somewhere. So I give him 15 or $1,700 to go get a trailer so they could live in. Well, I think somebody told you somebody from the ward was coming by today. We had to bring you this gift from Secret Santa. Wow. Uh, we understand that you might need a new leg. Yeah, I've been postponing it off. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm using the best I can, but you know, eventually they do shrink, and you have to have another one made. So well, you can open there. Well, I'll I'll put this under the tree. No, no, no! You gotta open it now. I know it's October, but everybody wants to see you open it. It's, what? Happy Halloween! Yeah, Happy Thanksgiving! Wow, it's even from our bank too. That should hopefully cover your new leg. Wow! G give give you a leg off. Oh my God! Yeah. Merry Christmas. Holy crap. <laughs> so, one other thing, you guys are close to paying off your house, aren't you? Yeah, we got less than 10 to go. Yeah. Well, we have one other gift for you. You want your wife in here to open it with you? Yes, she Come on does. up. <laughs> you do it. No. I opened this one. That's for my leg. This is for you. I'm shaking. I can't. I am shaking. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on and I'm teary eyed. I can't read now. Your house is paid off. 
Really? Did you actually do that? Or we did. not That's for you to go me. pay it off Thank so you. you don't have a mortgage anymore. Merry Christmas. Holy crap, guys. You deserve it. We can't wait to see you walking around with your new leg. Well, I guess I better show up. Yeah, let's see one. what you've got. All right. <laughs> see the pants. The first Christmas after this happened, mm -hmm. he was working at Big O, and these are his work pants, and I took four of them down to Imperial Cleaners on 17th, give you a boost. And we've got a zipper in there so it's easier for him to put his leg on and then zip his pants down. All right, there you go. Merry Christmas. Take care. Yeah, we don't have the virus, so I'm going to give you a hook too. That's <laughs> just fine. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. We are outside a industrial park here in Idaho Falls. This is the Frazier Industrial Company, and we're about to surprise a guy here. His name is Zane. His daughter actually told Secret Santa about him. Let me read you what she said. She said, my 59-year-old father is raising three young kids, eight, six, and five. He was widowed May 4th when my mother died of colon cancer. She was a stay-at-home mom who had enough love to give to everyone, no matter who they were. He's struggling with the death of his wife of more than 20 years. He works Monday through Thursday from 7 to 5.30 as a metal fabricator. It's tough work. He has worked his whole life to make sure our family has made it through. My dad is no ordinary man, but Superman. He could really use new jeans, some workman jeans to wear to work, thermals to go under his clothes in the winter, and some nice steel-toed boots that he can wear to work. Well, of course, Secret Santa said, go down and surprise Zane. We got him a $1,000 gift card to a local store that sells the type of clothing he needs to wear to work. Also, $3,000 to Target so he can give his kids, his family, a new outfit and get them Christmas shopping and, and whatever else he needs. So he's working right now. He doesn't know we're coming. Let's give him an early Christmas gift. Are you Zane, Mr. Rackham? Yeah. How are you? I'm Nate with East Idaho News. I'll give you an elbow bone. I'm all right. How's your day going? Oh, not bad. How's your year been? I've heard you've had a rough year. Yeah. Bad rough year, yeah. Yeah? How are you holding up? I'm not too bad. Yeah. Well, we're actually here with our masks and Santa hats, uh, Secret Santa asked us to come and bring you an early Christmas gift. So uh, we wanted to give this to, to you right now. You can open it. You don't have to wait till you get home. It's really? If you pull that out, you have dirty hands. I'll show you. That's a thousand dollars to the work warehouse where you can get new boots and uh, pants, whatever you need for your work uh, outfit. Uh, and we have one more gift for you that's tucked away here in this box. That's a bunch of $500 gift cards to Target. Holy cow. So there's $3,000 there. You can oh get Christmas gosh. for your kids, for your family. Well, and then get, get yourself some new work clothes. Thank you. Thank Bet. you so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Take Merry care. Christmas. We'll see you. All right. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas, everybody. Nate Eaton here outside of the Idaho Falls Airport, about to surprise an employee who's been here 25 years. His name is David. I want to tell you a little bit about him. He actually just returned back to work last week after having quadruple bypass surgery. He loves planes, aviation, and anything associated with the sky. He lives by himself and has just recovered from his surgery. He was out for several weeks and was not getting paid for the time he was out. He gives so much and would do anything for anyone. In fact, he recently was nominated by the whole company of SkyWest Airlines to receive a special award, and they were going to fly him out to the banquet, but it was canceled 
because of COVID. He was so bummed. If you've ever flown out of the Idaho Falls Airport, chances are you have seen David. Well, Secret Santa wants to go surprise David and thank him for all he's done for our community. He has a check for $10,000. Let's go surprise him. Are you David? I am. David, how are you? I'm good. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Hello. Good to see you. How are you Thank feeling? You. I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> yeah? What, what happened? Oh, I had a quadruple bypass. Oh, my word. Yeah. Yeah. And how long were you at home? Oh, let's see. I was home about 12 weeks almost. Okay. You look good. Well, thanks. Up yeah. and about. Yeah, yeah, back to work. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're actually here on behalf of a secret Santa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know Christmas is several weeks away. Yeah, but, uh, I follow you, you know. Okay, so have you seen our videos before? I have, well, yeah. today's your day. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow. A, a secret Santa <laughs> asked us to bring this to you because of all of the wonderful things that your colleagues told oh, him about you. Oh my you. gosh. <laughs> and apparently everybody here at the airport knows you. Yeah, I've been here a little bit. <laughs> How long have you worked here? 36 years 36 in various years. positions. Yeah. So you've seen it grow. I have. And what do you like best about your job? Uh, probably the people. Yeah. Yeah, talking to the people. Yeah. And of course the airplanes. So are you thinking of retiring anytime soon? Oh, or? one of these years. <laughs> one of these years, good. Well, uh, let me just pass along this gift to you oh from Secret gosh. Santa. Well, thank you so we, much. We'd love to see you open it. Okay, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I can't even begin to, wow. <laughs> Hopefully you can use that. I imagine oh, you can. I definitely can. Yeah, the uh, the surgery put me out of work for a little while and I was a little short. <laughs> yeah, well, that can oh hopefully gosh, make up for that. that and is amazing <laughs> give you a good start to the holiday season so oh my gosh well i sure appreciate it thank that, you thank ha, you so much have a merry christmas i'll give oh, you an elbow bump oh i sure will <laughs> there you yes. go Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry early Christmas. It's warm enough today to actually be out here without a sweatshirt or a jacket on. We are about to surprise a woman named Loretta. If you've been to Gandolfo's in Idaho Falls, you've probably seen her. She's the manager there at the store and she was diagnosed with cancer a few months ago. I wanna read you a little bit about Loretta. She's 54 years old, diagnosed with breast cancer. She's already had surgery to remove the cancer. Now she's undergoing cocktail treatments uh, for chemotherapy and will be for several months. She says, I have on my battle of armor, so let the battle begin. Now Loretta has a husband who was diagnosed with dementia. We actually surprised him a few years ago. Mr. Pine, can you come on up here? Should we let him open it now or should he wait until Christmas? $5,000. He was a custodian at a local elementary school. He's had to since retire because of his health conditions. So she's caring for her husband with dementia. She's working at Gandolfo's trying to survive and she's now battling cancer. In addition to all of this, she has children and grandchildren that she wants to take care of, and Secret Santa wants to take care of her. So we have a check for $15,000 that she can use to help pay her utility bills and anything else she needs. So let's go surprise her. Hello. How are you? Oh my gosh. Are you Loretta? Loretta. Loretta. We yes. went to Gandolfo's looking for you and you weren't there today. <laughs> I forgot I had a doctor's appointment. <laughs> I'm Nate with East Idaho News. How are I, you? I know. I follow you. Do you? I do follow you. Is this your daughter? This is my granddaughter. Your granddaughter? Yes. You're, you couldn't be a grandma. You don't look that old. Well, thank you. <laughs> so how are you doing? I'm okay. Yeah? What's the latest on your, on your cancer prognosis? Uh, so I have six more months of chemotherapy. Um, intensive chemotherapy, so I've already lost my hair and, uh, you know, all that, so. 
that you look healthy. You're feeling good. I, feeling I okay. I feel pretty good this week. I don't have chemo till Thursday, so you know, come Saturday, I won't be so uh, um, chipper, yeah, <laughs> if, you, if yeah. you will. We, we're we're starting early. Secret Santa this year. And Secret Santa asked us to bring you a gift. You're one of the oh very gosh. first ones oh you that we're surprising. You saw me on the phone? Yes. On the news? Because we watch you all the time. Well, I'm glad you watched. So, I have to tell you a story. Okay. So, um, in 2017, on December 16th, you did a Secret Santa at Edgemont for Mr. Khan. Okay. So, I am actually Mrs. Khan. Mr. Khan, that's right. The, the custodian, right? Yes. yes. And where is he? He actually, he has dementia. Oh, okay. So I've been taking care of him and working and now dealing with cancer again. So, but I have to tell you that when you guys did that for him, it was um, so amazing because he had been suffering from some things and we had been through cancer before with me and everything and just kind of depressed. And he said that, that gave him so much hope and everything and then you know about a year and a half ago he got diagnosed with dementia so he's he's been at home and we're taking care of him and everything so but is he he's not working anymore no he's and, not. and he did a lot for that school he did he did yeah. a lot but i just want secret santa to know that he appreciated that so much and we had actually had been through some family things and and everything just previous to that and so um it was we, these little girls, this and her sister, were able to uh, have a very Merry Christmas that year. So. Oh, that's great. Well, I, I had no idea, and I'm glad you shared that with me. So we have a gift for you today, though. Oh, my goodness. So he got blessed back in 2017, and Secret Santa asked us to bring that to you today. Oh, my gosh. To bring your grandma oh, a gift. Oh, my gosh. $15,000? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no job. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That will come in so handy because I've only been working part time for a while. So. Well, hopefully that can help wherever you need it to help and you can have a great Christmas and we hope you beat cancer and you're back to full health soon. Yet. I know we're getting early. Yeah. <laughs> we had to do this early to come and see your grandma. <laughs> So there you go. We're sorry we missed you at the sandwich shop. I'm sorry too, but, but thank you we'll so much. We'll have to much. come at another time. I'll give you an elbow bump <laughs> and wish you all the best this Christmas. There you go, honey. Can you say thank you to Secret Santa? You want to you say hi into the microphone? Can you say thank you? Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You guys have a good night. Thanks. Thanks. Take Santa. care. Merry Christmas, everybody. Secret Santa does love whoever is about to give this car. In fact, he's gifting it to a very deserving woman. We are in Pocatello today, about to surprise a woman named Lisa. Lisa is a single mother of three children. She works so hard to provide for her kids. In fact, she often donates plasma to get a little extra money. And she has been saving so long to get a new vehicle that has enough seat belts for her kids and children in the carpool. Let me read you a little bit about Lisa. She had, uh, she was saving money to pay for her new car, her new car fund, but last summer her roof started leaking and she had to reshingle the whole thing and that depleted her car fund. She does babysitting to help others and it has been a real struggle for her over the past few years to just get by. She is a really good mother who could deserve a new car. And that's exactly what Secret Santa is going to give her. This Chevy Traverse right here. Now inside this box, we have a thousand dollar check. That's to pay for her registration, give her a tank of gas, get everything set up. But Secret Santa has paid for everything else, the taxes, the car, everything set. We're gonna go pull this in her driveway. We're gonna go surprise her with the check and the car. So we just pulled up, she's putting up Christmas lights. This is gonna really make her Christmas special. Hello, how are you guys? You put up Christmas lights? Well, we heard you were getting to the Christmas spirit, so we had to stop by. Are you Lisa? I'm Nate with East Idaho News. What's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin? You wanna say hi? Hi. What's your name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lillian. <laughs> Lillian, how old are you? Yeah. You good? Three. She's three. I'm five. You're five. Well, I want to ask how old your mom is. 
But we, uh, I'm gonna scoot over here so the sun isn't in my eyes. We, uh, we're here on behalf of a secret Santa. <laughs> wow. So awesome. if, if you know who we are, you I may do. have seen these videos before. Oh we wanted to bring you a gift. It's early, but we must have known you were getting in the Christmas spirit. So, yeah. well, did you know nice we were coming over no, today? No, I didn't. It's nice outside, so we're getting the lights up. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, we got you this check. I may have given it away, but you can open it and see what's inside there. We oh got you that goodness, present. I'm shaking up. Oh my goodness. Thank you. So that's some money for your mom. That's a thousand dollars. And Secret Santa wanted to give you guys one more thing. And it's parked right across the street. No! That's yours. Oh my gosh! We could, really? We couldn't pull it in your driveway because you were here. Oh. So do you guys want to go check out your oh. new car? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, go, go oh across. The, key, the key's in there. The key's in the... Oh, oh my goodness. Who, who's this? We, we can't say. It's a secret. But we heard that you wanted enough seat belts for the carpool. Yes. So yeah. this has seven seat belts. Oh, so awesome. And you were checking out traverses, I weren't was. you? Yeah. And we, we, have, we, we have two seats in front, three in the back. All right, well, this is yours, so we'll open the door for your mom. Oh, the key's in there. I'm shaking. Do you guys want to get in the back? Oh, good. Love it. Good, good. Thank you. Well, that's a very early Christmas and Thanksgiving gift. I so. appreciate it. Can you? Can I? Can I do anything? Like, can I give you a thank you note? Can I? You can. You can. Yeah, you can get. Or you can talk to Secret Santa right there. He might be watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate this more than you ever know. I've been saving for a car for a long time, and I haven't been able to buy one. So. Because you had to put a new roof on, right? <laughs> yep, and a couple of other things too. So, and I'm taking care of my kids, and so. Well, what a wonderful surprise. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton with EastIdahoNews.com, and I want to tell you we have been so impressed with how many of you have contacted us saying what you are doing for your own Secret Santa secrets this year. In fact, Secret Santa is reading many of your comments, and he wants to thank you for getting involved. And for those of you thinking about how you can help, Gifts don't have to be huge. They don't have to be cars or $10,000 checks. You can do minor little things that can make a big difference in the lives of others. And that's the whole reason that Secret Santa is doing this this year. And I wanna tell you about our next recipient. We are in Rigby today, and this is the Heaps family. Carissa Heaps is the mother of eight children. Her parents have moved in with them. Her mother is suffering from multiple sclerosis. Her father has severe dementia. They're actually adding onto their home so that they can have a little bit more space. Recently, her husband lost his job due to his own medical situation. Uh, doctors found some tumors in his brain and he was diagnosed with a severe case of early onset dementia. So she is caring for her eight children, she's caring for her parents, and now her husband who does not have the best health and they are going back and forth to Salt Lake City to see a neurologist often. So Secret Santa wants to make that trip a little easier. This is a Secret Santa Fe that Secret Santa wants to give to the Heaps family today, an early Christmas gift. We also have in this box $2,000 of gas cards to help make their commute a little easier and a $1,000 check so that they can register this car and make it officially their own thanks to our own local Secret Santa. Hello. Wow. <laughs> We're looking for Carissa. Hi, Carissa. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Come in. Did you? Uh, we're we're fine we were here. We were expecting somebody to help us on the addition, so. I don't know if they're actually going to show up. That may have been the story you were told. Oh, really? But we we were sent here okay. instead well, from a secret Santa. 
I can tell. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> I don't, what gives it away? <laughs> we um, we wanted to bring you an early Christmas present this oh, year. Thank you. From for your family, and we would love to see you open it. Okay. Oh, that is a black cat. Yes, it's appropriate for Halloween. Yes. So much for Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness. Can I know who it was? <laughs> they, they asked us not to tell you, but it was oh a local person. So Thank there's, you so much. there's a thousand dollar check, and then yeah. <laughs> two thousand dollars to the gas station. I can see that, and that we need it so much, and we just appreciate it so much. Things yeah. have kind of gone crazy this year for us. We hear. So this is my husband, Randy. Good to meet you, Randy. Randy. I'm Nate, and this is Brittany and Eric. Do you guys have the one other gift? And they brought us. Um, as a secret Santa, somebody nominated us, and so that we've been going down to Salt Lake to the hospital, and this will be so helpful. So we we go again. We have one more thing that oh. I thought these guys had, but it's in the car. Can you come with us? So how long have you guys lived here? Uh, well, I'm from Grant, but we moved back from Utah uh, about three years ago. So my parents lived through the mile, and we're building this apartment so they can come. Um, live with us and buy us. And you have a, a child on a mission, right? We have a child on a mission, yeah. And two two other kids at college? or uh, We have two kids at home, and then we have uh, five married children. Okay, well good. Hopefully they can what? all fit in this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Do you see what we have? Oh my gosh! I, I don't even know what to say. Do you want to come and get in and see your car? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> really, we can't know who. Thank we, you so much. We can't tell you. I'll, be I'll show you. <laughs> so this, 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 there's the key. That's your unlock lock. You can stick it in and start it up. I can't believe it. Our, our best car has a hundred and something thousand miles on it. <laughs> your best car. <laughs> well, this has quite a few fewer miles. So everything's been paid for. Oh except the registration, which that check in there should help pay for it and give you a tank of gas. And while well, you have gas I cards for that. Know. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. You're welcome. I, thank We're, you, thank you. I don't know who it was. But well, he might so be much. watching if there's anything you want to say. <laughs> this has been a hard year for everybody and it has been a hard year for us too. And so thank you. It makes it feel like we're not forgotten and that we can do this, so. You're definitely not forgotten, I can tell you that. I can't believe it. This has just been such a hard year. But I know it's been so hard for so many people, so I don't know why we would be singled out, but well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I, we know it's been a hard year for you, and the secret Santa said, take, take this to them, so there must be a reason. We are back at it again with another gift from Secret Santa. We're in Rexburg tonight and the moon is out and it is beautiful and we are about to surprise a woman named Nancy. Earlier this year, Nancy's husband died in a car crash and since that time she has been working to have repairs done on her house. She needs a new garage door, she needs new siding, she needs new doorknobs so she can feel safe at home and Secret Santa is going to deliver. We have $5,000 from Home Depot for Nancy to go and get the repairs done and maybe bring in some help to do these repairs for her. We hope she's home tonight. We've been trying to get a hold of her for a few days, so let's go see.
Hello. Who is this? How are you? Are you Nancy? I am. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Oh, why are you here? We're here to give you a gift. Not every day you see people with Santa hats on your doorstep. We just wanted to bring you this gift from a secret Santa. He, a secret Santa? A secret Santa. He, oh, cool. he asked us to come a little early this year. He did. Huh? Because Christmas obviously isn't for a few weeks, but um, oh, cool. we just wanted to bring this by to you. You don't even have to wait till Christmas, well, until Christmas to open it. Oh. Do you want to open it? Sure. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? Nothing will pop out, I promise. Oh. <laughs> that would not be nice. That's a Box. Yeah, you can keep that too. Oh, Home Depot. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, this is nice. So there's five of those in there and they each have a thousand dollars on them. A thousand? A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? So there's five thousand dollars total. Who is this generous person? We can't tell you, it's a secret. But oh we heard that you gosh. might need a new garage door. We do. And maybe some repairs, some doorknobs, some things to keep keep you feeling a little safe. So hopefully yes. that can pay for those. Oh my goodness. I can't believe somebody would do that. Well, you deserve it and you deserve a good oh. Christmas. So we wanted to drop that by tonight and wish you the absolute best. We know it's been a rough year for you. So yeah, it has. Well, this makes me happy crying. <laughs> well, I'm trying not to cry, but that is so wonderful. Enjoy your shopping at Home Depot and fixing up your house. And, yes, and know this that will definitely help. Just know that somebody loves you and cares about you and asked oh. us to come visit you on a dark fall night to bring those to you. Oh my gosh, this is just exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll let you get back to inside and take care of yourself. Okay. All right. Nice Appreciate meeting you, it. Nancy. Thank you very much. We'll see much. you. Take care. Merry Christmas, everybody. It is snowing, so that definitely makes it feel like the holidays. I'm Nate Eaton here at Longfellow Elementary School in Idaho Falls, and this car is about to be given to the custodian from Secret Santa. His name is Jose Hernandez. He's been the custodian here and every single person we've talked to says he is so deserving of this vehicle. He works hard, he cares for his family, he never complains, that he'll do whatever he's asked. In fact, sometimes teachers need to use him for Spanish-speaking students so that they can communicate with their parents. Mr. Hernandez jumps in and he does the job. And the timing of this gift from Secret Santa couldn't be more perfect. Just two days ago, Mr. Hernandez was on his way to Salt Lake with his mother when his car broke down and they had to call a tow truck and they had to have his car towed away. This is like the fourth or fifth vehicle he's had in the past few years. They keep breaking down because he, he doesn't have quite enough money to buy a new one, but he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. So we're gonna go inside the school. Right now he's apparently on a walk through with the principal. We're gonna call him down to the office. We're gonna give him a check for a thousand dollars. It'll pay for the registration tank of gas. Then we're gonna give him the car key and he's gonna come out to his new car. Hello, Mr. Hernandez. Oh, hi. How are you? What's this? <laughs> I'm with East Idaho News. How's your day going? I'm okay. <laughs> I don't need to report any throw ups or any emergencies. <laughs> what have you been up to today? I've been working. Yeah? <laughs> A secret Santa asked us to come and visit you today. Oh, really? Yeah, Christmas is coming early, but it feels like Christmas outside with the weather. Yeah, today it is. <laughs> Were you up early shoveling? And... No, not yet. Not yet? No, no. Because when I got here, it was snow, the snow yet. Oh, okay. So I'll probably go later on. What time do you arrive at work? I get here at 6. And then how late do you stay? Until 4 o'clock. Well, sometimes 4.30. And how long have you worked here? Um, I don't quite a while. Like, 25 years. 25 years, yeah. wow. Yeah. What's your favorite part about your job? I just like work with the kids. Yeah? Because they're more in trouble, so. You've probably seen so many kids come and go oh, over yeah. 25 oh, years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now some of them are probably- I have seen some that already, 20 years ago, they were here, and then I see them in like in the stores or somewhere, and they still recognize me. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that means you're making a difference. I hope so. <laughs> well, we wanted to bring you this gift from Secret Santa, and we'd love to see you open it right now. What? 
Oh, well, who's this from? It's for, it's a secret. I can't oh, tell secret. you. So that's a thousand dollar check, and then I have one more gift for you. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is not for you, is it? <laughs> Here, I can hold that one if you want. Okay. Oh. And what is this for? It's for you. What? <laughs> Look at it. I don't know. I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> that's, a, that's a car key. It's a car key. It's a car key. What? It's a, let me see. 2020 Hyundai Kona. And it's right outside. What? Do you want to come and see it? <laughs> you don't make me cry. <laughs> you can cry. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. Let's go see your new car. Wow. We heard you needed a car. <laughs> thank you. Do you currently have a car? Or it broke I down do. a few days ago, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the taxes have been paid. Oh, Every, really? Everything's been paid except your registration, registration. and yes. that's what this check can oh, hopefully okay. do for you. Get in there and start it up. This is your new oh, I car. I don't know how you start it. You <laughs> just, just put it in? <laughs> this, this, this unlocks it. Whoa. Wow! So how will you get back here? Like? Your seat? You have to move more that way. Right back, here. back? Yeah, right underneath there. Just yep, just right? turn it, yep. And then what, do you have to press anything? Nope. There you go. Is it on? It's on. Oh. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? <laughs> it's on. <laughs> and it, to that one I had before. And it's yours. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you whoever did this for me. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Merry Christmas, you too. Thank you. Attention to students and staff. I have a friend in the office who would like to make an announcement. Merry Christmas, everybody. I know Christmas hasn't come yet, but this is Nate Eaton with East Idaho News. And we just surprised Mr. Hernandez with a brand new car outside from a secret Santa. It's a beautiful red car. If you have a window, you can look, it at, look out your window. It's parked underneath the flagpole. And I want to hear you all give it up for Mr. Hernandez. On the count of three, give me the loudest cheer you can. Ready? One, two, three. I have him right here. I want to, I want to let him say a word because he's driving home in a brand new car. Mr. Hernandez, how do you feel right now? I feel really uh, one of the lucky persons. And I'm glad that I work where I work. And thanks to all the kids and whoever did this for me, I really appreciate it. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton in Rexburg today, and a local anonymous secret Santa is continuing to bless people in Eastern Idaho, including Amanda. Amanda is a single mother of two who recently moved out of an apartment into her first home. It's a single wide trailer, but it needs a lot of work. In fact, it doesn't even have a shower. So every day she goes with her two kids to her old apartment to shower, and then they return home where they sleep. The lease on the old apartment is up at the end of November, so she is doing what she can to get the shower put in. She's also working every day, starting at 4 a.m. until one in the afternoon. Then she comes home and makes repairs around her trailer. Well, Secret Santa said, we gotta help with that. So he got her $5,000 in gift cards to Home Depot so she can do her remodeling. Also $1,000 to Kohl's so that she can get herself some clothes uh, and her kids some clothes 
And right now she's home and she doesn't know we're coming, but let's go give her these gifts. Hello. Hello. Are you Amanda? Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm Nate with East Idaho News. I know who you are. You do? Uh -huh. Do you recognize the Santa hats then? Yeah. So you might wonder why we're here. Uh-huh. Well, we just came to say hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, how's your day been? Um, pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. We hear you're trying to remodel your home. How's that going? Oh my gosh, it's going terribly. Is it? <laughs> it really is. I only have two working toilets, that's all I have. <laughs> oh man, so what are you doing to get by? Um, I have an apartment that my church helped me finish renting out till November, the end of November. So we shower in laundry there. Oh my. And then come here. <laughs> and then come here. To sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's, but, but you've got one more month, right? So you have like a month to get everything done I have here. The end of November. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, Secret Santa heard about what you're doing. So we wanted, we wanted to bring you by a gift today. Okay. Open it now. Open it now, of course. Oh, awesome. So uh, that can get you some warm clothes and some uh, okay. other things that we have. And we have one more gift right Thank here for you. you. Okay. Let me hold that. Yeah. <laughs> That's needed. <laughs> yeah, we figured. Oh my gosh. There's ten five hundred dollar gift cards in there. Oh wow. So that's five thousand dollars that you can uh, use to oh fix your shower or, or do whatever you need Buy to do. Buy a shower. <laughs> Buy a shower so that you don't have to go somewhere else to shower. Oh my gosh. Well, Merry Christmas, Amanda. We're glad that we could stop by today. Thank we'll you give so you those, much. and we Thank wish you all the best for you and the kids. Thank you so much. I wish they were here or they're with their dad. Oh, uh, okay. Thank well, you. when they get home, maybe you can go shopping and get them a little yeah, something. Yeah, that would be great. All right. Thank we'll take so care. Much. Have all a right. good day. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. I just got off the phone with Secret Santa, and he said, I need you to take a car to a nurse at Ermac. And that's what we're doing. This vehicle right here is about to go to a woman who works here. Her name is Christy Wood. I want to tell you a little bit about her. Christy Wood has worked at Ermac since 1997 in the Women's and Infants Unit. She wears many hats. She supports four children, including one who just went through college. She's the finest nurse leader and the best advocate for friends, co-workers, and the community. Christy got the Outstanding Preceptor Award in 2019, precepting 75% of the new RN hires in the unit. She's a great example of unlocking possibilities to the staff, and uh, she does what she can to help others. Christy and Todd, her husband, have two vehicles, a 1992 Buick and a 2000 Mercury that are constantly breaking down. Neither vehicle have heat or air conditioning. Christy leaves her work 40 minutes early every day to prepare her to get here in case the car breaks down. She said she only had to work, walk to work once this past summer, and she considers that a victory. Not only that, when she won that preceptor award, the employees get a special parking spot. She was too embarrassed to, to park her spot, her car in that spot, so she parked at the back of the parking lot and didn't even use it. She doesn't need to be embarrassed anymore because we're going to give her this car. We also have $1,000 from Secret Santa, from this special Secret Santa who's a real person. We're going to give that to her so that she can go register the car and pay off the gas. Right now, look over here. All these guys are waiting for her to come outside. So uh, let's call her out here and surprise her. Hi, ladies. I'm here to do some scheduling with you. Oh, no. Are you Christy? I am Christy. I'm Nate with East Idaho <laughs> oh News. So, I was like, why am I going out? <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry. It's really cold, oh, but I want to tell you that yeah. a, a secret Santa in town asked us to come and bring you a gift. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. I thought I was working on my January schedule. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, maybe this will help plan your January, oh, but let word. me just give this to you because okay. it's cold out here. It is cold. Thank you. Well, my secret Santa is very special. Yes. Oh, I want this one away. Very sweet of my secret Santa. Thank you so much. That's a thousand dollar check that you can use on whatever sweet. you want. Thank you so much. 
I have one more gift that I for, that I I left in the car. So can you come oh, you c come with me and and uh, <laughs> your schedule the schedule that's in the car. That's yours. That was super sweet. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You want to get in there? And... I would love to. Well, hop on in there. It's probably warmer in there I than out here. I'm safe to drive it. <laughs> oh, you're safe. I promise. What, what are you driving right now? Oh, my cars are bad. Yeah, a Buick, I've heard, oh, 2000 yeah. Buick? I, I have a 92 Buick. A 92 Buick, wow. An 89 Toyota. <laughs> and an 89 Toyota. <laughs> that was a bad and, and you leave home early in case you break down, I right? I do leave home early. I make people sign waivers before they get in my cars. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hop in here, no waivers required. It's yours, everything's been paid for except the registration. Oh my gosh, my husband is absolutely gonna die. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can bring home some good news to him. Oh, he's, I have to tell him, he's going to be so excited. Yeah. Well, congratulations and Merry Christmas. You don't know how to work it? Can you, like, roll down things? I don't know how to work it. I don't know. You don't have to crank anything. Where are the windows? The windows are right here, yeah. Like roll down. Oh no, I'm everything's electronic. <laughs> yeah, It'll that. even sync to your phone, so. <laughs> so they're making fun of me because I know it's true. Okay, what do you need help with? Your seat? Really right underneath. <laughs> there. So do you need it forward? It's like you're that. Me it's true. <laughs> and then you it's it's automatic, so just use that shift yeah, thing in the, in the middle. I can do that. I it's like driver's ed. <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton, and we are in Incom today, just south of Pocatello. We are about to surprise a school custodian named Yuko. Her husband passed away less than two years ago. He was bedridden, and Yuko learned to drive to take care of him. Let me read you a little bit more about her. She came here from Japan, a country that she longs to see again and is still learning English. After her husband's death, Yuko was left with nine children, including two teenage daughters still at home. Yuko serves as a custodian at Income Elementary where she gives everything she has and takes nothing in return. Showing up to work and giving 100% every day is how Yuko is. She climbs under, over, and around just to wipe a table leg or pick up a piece of, piece of trash off the ground. Her body is in constant motion as she smiles down the halls, dusting art as she goes. Doing what may seem like a tiresome job, she makes it look effortless. Outside of work, Yuko volunteers her time teaching children about about origami. After work, Yuko helps teachers lengthen legs on desks or rearrange classrooms simply because she gives everything she can. Giving $5 to teachers for their birthdays brings tears to their eyes because they know that it is her giving. Giving to others is Yuko's legacy. When picking fruit from someone's yard or garden, she always shares a bag with another who's in need. She's learned to say hello to a student in sign language and always thanks you every time she finishes cleaning a classroom. She brightens everyone's day, is a big ray of sunshine, and is it is time that we step in and maybe give her something back. So, Secret Santa wants to give her something back. We have three gifts for Yuko today. Inside this box, there's a thousand dollar check Inside this box, there's a $10,000 check, and inside this box is the key to this car. So we're here at the school, and they're going to have a fire drill to get everybody out here, including y Yuko, and once she's out here, we'll give her the gifts. Hey, I need everyone's attention. So we have something very special going on today, and it's a surprise for just about everybody. Uh, Mrs. Shelton, would you come up here, please? 
How are you, Mrs. Shelton? I'm Nate with East Idaho News. How's your day going? Uh, it is great, thank you. It's going great. A little cold here today. It is, isn't it? It's cold here every day though, I hear. So <laughs> we have come from Idaho Falls with a gift from a secret Santa for you. Uh, he wanted us to bring you some presents today. We know that Christmas is still a few weeks away, but we wanted to bring these to you. And would you guys like to see her open these? So are you ready to start your Christmas early? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, here's present number one. Uh, could you tell thank you for whoever, could you tell thank you for whoever provided for this for us? Absolutely. Well, he might be watching right there. Oh, thank you so much for, for this present. Yeah. Appreciate it. Let's see what's in the box. It's a thousand dollar check. Thousand dollars. And here's box number two. Do you see it? Yes. The, the, this one is a check for ten thousand dollars. And we have one more gift for you. Are you ready? Thank have you, you so caught much. your breath? I, I'm speechless. I'm very, very appreciative of whoever doing this one. <laughs> Do you know what that is? And that's a key. That's a car key. Secret Santa bought you a car. It's right over there. Want to come and see it? Sure. Yeah, let's go see it. <laughs> we heard that you might need a car. I'm very appreciative. Well, well come and hop in. Do you know how to work that key? Uh, no. <laughs> so you just push this button and it goes up. Thank that you. locks it, unlocks it, and that opens the back. Okay, I need to learn how to do it. <laughs> okay, well hop on in there. Do you know how to, you know how to drive though, right? Yes, but I, I prefer not because I might be too full. You're too, ner you're too nervous? Well, you can just sit in there and start it if you want. You don't have to drive oh, it. That's okay. What do you think? I'm very, very appreciated because we needed a car. Yeah. And I'm very appreciated for her. I'm thankful for my husband of medical death. This help us a lot. Your, your husband passed away recently, didn't he? Um, about a year and a half ago. And he just left for some medical death. So I tried to pay off. Mm -hmm. But this money will be help us a lot. Oh, good. You alright? <laughs> so what you do, push that, and then just put it in here, and then it starts. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. You deserve it. Aww. You're amazing. I'm not. Awesome. You have a provider is amazing. No, you, you There's you not a amazing. more deserving person than you. Oh yep. uh, no. Yes, yes you go. Yes. yes. But he's a yes. <laughs> Always he's You're a amazing, you go. No, I'm not doing nothing. He <laughs> don't want the provider. <laughs> so you just put it into drive. Okay. And then it just goes. And here you have your windows. Okay. And your mirror. Okay. So how he heard about me? Someone told him. So how he about he know about me? <laughs> so, someone someone told Secret Santa all about you, and he said, 
she definitely deserves this. And that's what everybody else has told us. Oh, so this come from you as well? Well, I just work for the news and yeah. Secret Santa asked if I could bring this to you. Oh. Thank you so much for, for, for this present for whoever provides. I am very, very appreciated for your concern for our family and very appreciated for all you do for our family. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton, and we are in windy Pocatello today, about to surprise a woman named Tiffany. Tiffany is a single mother of a child who has a heart condition. He was born with a heart condition, and she has, of course, loved him since the second he came onto this earth. Well, Tiffany is a full-time student working to become a registered nurse. She's also uh, working a full-time job. So she's going to school full-time, she's working full-time, and she recently took custody, temporary custody, of two relatives, uh, two children. So she's carrying her son, she's caring for these other two kids, and she's working and going to school full time. On top of all this, she wants to finish her basement so that her son has a place, his own room. And so she's watching YouTube videos to figure out how to do this herself, and she's working at finishing her own basement. Well, Secret Santa said, you gotta go help her finish that basement. We have a check in here for $20,000 that we know she'll put to good use. Now she's right now working at the doctor's office. We're gonna go surprise her. Are you Tiffany? Yes. How you doing? Good, how are you? You are hard to catch. Oh. We went to your house three times last week. Oh. You're busy. What, okay. do, what do you do every day, all day? This, I work. <laughs> And you're going to school too, right? Yeah. And raising your kid? Yes. <laughs> How's life been for you? Uh, good. Busy. You're like, let's get on with this. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> so we're, we're a secret Santa asked us to bring you a gift okay. today. Okay. And we know it's early. Thanksgiving isn't even here, but okay. we wanted to get it to you as soon as we can. And we'd love to see you open it. Okay. I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> No. What? Why? Why did this happen? Because what is this you deserve for? that $20,000 check. That's just for you. No, it is not. This is a prank. No prank. This what? is real. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas to you. You oh, bet. You can, you're finishing your basement, right? Or trying to? I am. How do you know this? <laughs> Watching YouTube videos to figure out how to do it? Yes, I am. Well, you can use that money to help finish your basement. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. All right. You bet. Have a good day. We'll Thank get you back so to work. much. Yeah. Thanks. Merry Christmas, everybody. I guess I should say Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Nate Eaton in Rigby today, and we are about to surprise a very special family with a very special gift from Secret Santa. Stacy and Travis Baker's 10-year-old son, Logan, unexpectedly passed away just a few days ago. I want to read you a little bit of their story. Stacy is the, an absolutely amazing mother to her four young children. Her oldest son, Logan, was diagnosed with a heart condition, and they moved their entire family to East Idaho two years ago to be closer to family and give their son the cleanest air to breathe. Travis works full-time and is doing everything he can to pay for Logan's medications and allow Stacy to be home to care for the kids. On November 13th, Stacy found Logan blue and not breathing. They rushed him to Ermac, but his poor little heart gave out. He died with his parents by his side. Logan was 10 years old. Stacy and Travis could really use some Christmas cheer in a difficult year. And that's what Sa Secret Santa wants to give them during this difficult time. He is paying for the headstone for little Logan when he is buried in the cemetery. He also has $5,000 that they can use for funeral or other expenses. They're home right now from what we understand, so we're going to go give them an early Christmas gift. Hi! Hello. Hi. How are you guys doing? We are okay. You're okay? 
my girls are screaming, but the guy is here that we watch. Oh, well, that's nice of them. We wanted to bring you guys some flowers. Thank you. And we wanted to, first of all, see how you guys are doing. That's a hard question to answer, I know. We are, we're okay. We're, we're doing. We're handling things. Handling things. Well, there's a lot of people that love you guys. I could tell you that our, our uh, computer system has been overwhelmed with people messaging us about the bakers, saying, you gotta go see the bakers. And so we wanted to bring you a gift from a secret Santa. Go in and pick whatever headstone you want. Uh, we have heard you were there last night looking around, so that's covered. You don't have to worry about paying anything. Thank you let so me, much. Let me give you one, one other gift. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We have felt so much love the past week. It's it's unbelievable. This world is good. There is so much goodness. Right Especially now. in this community. This community is awesome. Best people in the world live here. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton. We are in Shelly today. We're about to surprise April and Brian. They live at this home right behind me. They have had quite a year. Brian has had some serious health issues with migraines, and so April's been trying to take care of him. Then her mother got sick, so she had to care for her mom. On top of all of this, they haven't had much luck with their home. In fact, they don't have running water in their kitchen, and they're having to use their shower to wash their dishes. Their oven doesn't work, so if it can't be cooked on the stove or in a crock pot, they don't eat it. So they need running water in their house. They need uh, their, their appliances fixed, also a washer and dryer. It's just been a rough year for them. So Secret Santa asked if we could give them $10,000 and let's go surprise him. How you doing? Elliptical in the front, in the way of the front door. Are you Brian? I am. I'm Nate. How you doing? Good. Let me get my wife. <laughs> is your wife April? Yeah. Is she here? Yeah, she is. So how's your day been, Brian? Pretty good. Yeah. Are you April? How are you? Great. Sorry to bring you out in the it's rain. Okay. <laughs> you guys have had quite a year. We have. I'm yeah. with East Idaho News, by the way. Yes, Nate, it's nice to meet you. You too, you too. Uh, we wanted to come out to, to bring you a gift, but I, I guess the first question I want to ask is, how are you doing? You had some health issues this year, didn't you? Yeah, dealing with migraines. And, and your your mom got sick? Yes, she is diabetic mm. and she had some blood sugar issues and AFib and Gosh. so. <laughs> but you volunteered to be with her from what I understand yeah. and take care of her and you, you were While here. taking care of me. So. While taking care of you. And you guys, Always. you guys uh, have had some water issues, right? Do you not have yeah. running water in your kitchen? No, not, um, not very well. <laughs> so how do you wash the dishes or fill up um, pots? Put them in the, the shower, in the tote, and wash them in the shower. Oh my gosh. Just adapt to what we can. Wow. Well, I want to give you this gift from a secret Santa so that we can get you back in the house where it's dry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That can maybe get your water fixed and 
a washer and dryer, whatever Thank else you. you need. Thank you. And give you a, a hopefully a good start to the Christmas season. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas to Merry all Christmas. of you too. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. We are outside East Idaho Credit Union in Idaho Falls, or Ammon, I guess I should say, and we're about to surprise a woman who works here. Her name is Phyllis. Phyllis has worked here for 18 years full time. She also works at Walmart part time so that she can get a car. Actually, she has a car, but it keeps breaking down. She's in her 60s. She works hard to care for herself and her grandson who lives with her, and she's been having some medical issues over the past year. And Secret Santa said, we need to do something to help Phyllis. So he bought her this car right here. Along with the car, we have $1,000 to Kohl's so that she can get herself some clothes, get her grandkids some clothes, and a $1,000 check that can pay for the registration on the vehicle. Hello. Is this where I can deposit a check? Yes. Well, I don't have a check. Uh -oh. We're looking for Phyllis. Oh my gosh! Is that you? Yeah. Well, I came to the right window. How are you doing? Hello. I'm good. How's your day been? It's been great. Yeah? Well, we're here on behalf of a secret Santa. Oh my gosh. Who asked us to come and bring you this Christmas gift. I saw you guys all the time. Oh, so have you seen the videos? Yeah. You probably never thought we'd be here for you, no. right? Well, today's, today's your day. I can't fit it under there. I'll pass it around to you. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so I guess I can say I do have a check, but the check's for you. So you can deposit that, okay. and, and hopefully that can help you this Christmas season. I also have one more thing that will fit underneath this. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Do you want to come out and see it? Parked it right up here. Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of car are you driving now? A 2000 Honda. A 2000 Honda. How many miles are on it? Almost 200. Wow. Well, you can do something. I can tell oh you. Oh my god. There you go. Hop on in. <laughs> just, just, you're fine. Just push this and then that'll start it up. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Oh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> That's all yours! Oh my gosh! Oh, thank you so much, you guys! You bet! Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton, and we are in Pocatello today, about to surprise a woman named Carolee Aquila. Unfortunately, earlier this year, Carolee was diagnosed with a very rare form of liver cancer, and doctors tell her that she doesn't have very long to live. Carolee is a mother of four. Her children are 13, 11, 8, and 4. They're really, really good people, according to everybody we've talked to. And her neighbors have pitched in to help paint the house and make repairs around the house. But one thing the family really hopes to do is maybe go on a vacation with the time they have left with their mom. And so Secret Santa wants to give them $5,000 to go on a vacation, to go on a trip and make memories with their mother and help hopefully have some fun this holiday season. Hi, how are you? 
Hi. Are you Carolee? I am Carolee. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. How's your day going? It's going great. How are you, dude? We're, we're here with a Christmas present for your mom. A secret Santa asked us to bring you a Christmas gift. Really? Yeah. So, how are you? Okay. You're wondering why we're here, right? We're, we're early. We'd like to start Christmas so, early. Did you want to come in? No, we can stay right here. We just would love to give you this gift, and if you want to open it, feel free. Okay. If you guys want to go on a vacation or do a trip together, that can pay for that. You can create some memories and, and do what you want to do. Okay. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah? I'm doing good. Good. Yeah. Kids are doing okay? They are. Well, Merry Christmas. We hope you guys have a really good holiday and have a lot of fun together. Okay, we will. All right. Thank you and tell whoever donated this thank you. Absolutely. So much from us. Merry Christmas, everybody. We are in Shelley today, outside of Brolem's, about to surprise one of the employees. Her name is Ashley, and she does the bookkeeping here. She's in every morning at 5 a.m., uh, making sure the books balance. And then she's also caring for her father full time. He had one of his legs amputated earlier this year. So they're having to change their house and do some remodeling so that he can get around in his wheelchair. They need to add a ramp. They need to redo the flooring. There's a lot that needs to get done. Well, in between working full time here and taking care of her dad, Secret Santa said, why don't you take Ashley a $15,000 check that can help with all of these additional expenses and additional burdens. Her manager knows that we're coming, but Ashley has no idea. In fact, I hear that she's actually balancing the books right now. So let's go surprise her. Ashley, Hi. how are you doing? Did you see us through the windows? No. Do you know why we're here? No. Well, how's your day been? <laughs> good, long, but it's been good. Long? What time yeah. did you start? Five. <laughs> do you start at five every day? Yeah. And and how long do you go? Till I'm done. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You, you've had a busy year. Caring for your dad? And, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And working? I was like, how do you know this? <laughs> well, um, yeah. How, how are you holding up? I mean, it's, I mean, you just do what you have to do, you know? Yeah. It's family. Well, good. Uh, we're glad you're doing what you're doing. A secret Santa asked us to bring you this gift today. We'd love to see you open it. No. Merry Christmas. I don't deserve it at all. Why do you say that? Of course you do. No, I don't. Uh, you're doing a lot for your dad. You're doing a lot for you. There's a lot more people that can deserve it a lot more. You just do what you have to do. Well, that can help. You're, you're making some modifications to the home, aren't you? Yeah, so you to get, get him the wheelchair, yeah. Yeah, so that, that can, you can put that toward that and take good care of him. Thank you. Thank you, you guys so much. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton with East Idaho News, and a local secret Santa continues to bless so many people in our community with special Christmas gifts this year. And the whole purpose of why he does this is to encourage you and all of us to be secret Santas in our own lives. And we wanna hear what you're doing this Christmas to be a secret Santa. Please contact us and let us know how uh, this these videos are inspiring you. I wanna tell you about our next recipient and I wanna read it directly off the nomination form that we received. My name is Nina Diaz and I am nominating my dad Antonio for Secret Santa Surprise. My dad has been the most caring, giving, compassionate and hardest worker I have ever met. My mom and dad have been married for nearly 39 years. Three years ago, my mom was diagnosed with severe dementia. 
it truly seemed to happen overnight. On October 26, 2016, I had a brain tumor surgery from which I almost didn't make it. I remember waking up from the anesthesia and my mom fiercely trying to unplug all the cables, needles, respirator, and other medical equipment I was plugged into. On the other end, I could see my dad doing his best to stop her. Since then, my mom has never been the same. On January 3, 2017, we received the terrible news of my mom's diagnosis. It wasn't only dementia, it was severe dementia. My dad's life shattered right there. This was his partner of 36 years that had been diagnosed with an incurable and rapidly progressing disease. Their plans vanished in a matter of minutes. We have been losing my mom over the past three years incredibly quickly. Her memory, speech, comprehension, and life has forever been erased. Mom does not know who we are anymore, but we know who she is and we love her dearly. My dad has been a very honest and hardworking man. His shifts start at 5.30 a.m. and end around 10 p.m. seven days a week. No holidays, no weekends. He works on the farm and has saved enough, enough money to buy the house where mom and he now live. All of his and my mom's savings have gone toward paying mom's medical needs, which have been incredibly expensive. Neither one had insurance, as this is not a benefit a person working on the farm can enjoy. My dad drives an older truck that his boss lets him use during the farming season. He owns a car, but I think he needs a more reliable vehicle for winter months. His dream has always been to own a Ford F-150, but his dream was cut short with mom's illnesses. He can only work a few hours in the morning while mom is sleeping. The money he makes is not enough to even think about the possibility of a truck. It's very sad to see him giving up his lifelong dream. He's put it aside forever, and he does now cook and clean and do the laundry and feed and bathe my mom and give her all, his, all her meds without ever complaining. He says that even on your worst days, you can still be a blessing in other people's lives. Thank you, Secret Santa, for reading my wish. My parents used to tell my brother and I when we were little, if you look up at the sky at night and see the stars align together, make a wish. Santa is listening. I've seen the stars last night, and it is with a heart full of faith that I send my wish in to you. And I can tell you that the people who read this on our committee, these nominations, say this is one of the most sincere nominations we've ever received. And guess what? Secret Santa got Antonio this truck. His dream truck, he's home right now with his wife and so is his daughter who sent in this form. And we're gonna go surprise them with this incredible gift. Thank you. Yes. Hello? Hello. Are you Antonio? Yes, I do. How are you doing? Good. How's your day been? It's busy. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Oh. And we're here. A secret Santa asked if we could bring you a present. <laughs> Oh. Early, early Navidad, early, early Christmas. Oh. So, good. can can we give this to you? Sure. We'd we'd love to see you open it. Oh. oh. Feliz Navidad. Ah, muchas gracias. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I have I have a question for you. You work out on the on the farm, right? Yes, I do. And and how long have you been doing that? Oh, I started working in 1978. Wow. Always here in Idaho Falls. Yes. And what do you like about your job? Oh, I like it. I love the job. Yeah. I like it. Why? Because <laughs> from when I was in Mexico working the farm and I don't know. I like it. And you you do a lot of work taking care of your family and your wife. Taking care of the fami family? Yes, yeah. I do. So we have one other thing for you. Okay. Uh, one more present. Oh from, oh. from Secret Santa. Oh. I, 
I have it outside. Do you want to come and look? Sure. Sure. Ooh. See it right there? Ah. That's for you. Really? Okay. That's your truck. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Why don't you come and get in your truck? Do you know how that works? Push that button. Oh, muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Hop on in there. Hey. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Yeah, just turn it. Ah, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Muchas gracias. So, is this your dream truck? Yes, yes, I wish. Look, years ago, you know, sometimes I have one truck, you know. Yeah. Well, everything's been paid for. You don't have to pay anything. Oh. It's yours. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Are you Thank the one you. that wrote in about your dad? I am. It's yeah. one of the most beautiful entries I think our committee's ever read. Thank you. You wrote about the, the hard times and the struggles and how this has been your dad's dream to own a truck. You know, we've been struggling the past few months with my mom, especially my dad, and this just means so much to us. I'm sorry, I'm speechless, sorry. But this truly has been a dream for him, but he gave up on it when my mom's uh, disease came. And um, he totally put his life aside to take care of my mom. And just to think that, I mean, to have a truck outside of his garage that it's his own, it's, it's a dream come true. And I can't think of a more deserving individual than my dad. I can't believe that. <laughs> Muchas gracias, thank you so much. Do you like the color, azul? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> okay, yeah, good. I like it. <laughs> good. It's ah. awesome, thank you guys. What, what do you think your grandpa's going to like about his truck? <laughs> <laughs> Take, taking you on a ride? Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Of thank course. you, thank you. And thank you Secret so Santa as well. Yeah. It's, it's a true blessing to our community. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.